rate configuration with my cloud. Uh, I have the EX2 Ultra, and you'll see that it's showing that I have 3.68 terabytes free. I've put a little bit of data on here. And what I really want to do, and I showed this in the beginning, is not taking the default. The default uh, for this two disk total of eight terabyte NAS is RAID 1. And what that does is by default, um, it gives you two disks, each four terabytes, but you only write to one, and that same data is then automatically written to the second disk. So it's, a, it's like a backup, right? Um, I should have thought about what I really wanted before. I just took the default, figuring out I'll have some redundancy, but that's really for like critical like systems, business, high availability. I don't need that. I'm just putting up GoPro videos, big drone videos and things like that and storing them and so I can have easy access on different systems. So I don't really need it. its overkill. I'd rather have the eight terabytes. So I'm gonna change this, which means I'm going to wipe my drives and all the data that I put on here already. So uh, if you do this, beware, you will lose all your data. So I've uh, copied it off to another uh, another place. So I have a copy of it. Uh, so here, here's where I'm going to go up to the top to storage. And I'll kind of walk through this again. Um, RAID, RAID profile, you'll see. And you can see I'm at RAID 1. I'm going to change RAID mode. It's warning me, hey, this is going to stop everything. Uh, you can see it gives it these different um, options. So I'm just going to start at the bottom. RAID 1, this is what default uh, my cloud is set up for. So you basically have two disks, in my case, two four terabyte drives. Um, you write to one drive. That's all the capacity you have is four terabytes, and it automatically writes to the other drive. Okay. Uh, if you lose this drive, what happens is you just take it out, you stick in a new one, and it rebuilds it. Uh, so that's great if this is like a critical business or something, but I don't need that. For RAID 0, uh, what this is basically data striped across multiple hard drives. In this case, it would be two drives. So my four, uh, ter two, four terabytes is going to look like a single uh, eight terabyte drives. The data striping gives it some performance boost, um, which would be different than spanning. So spanning is, hey, I'm combining these two drives again, but there's no striping. So it's just basically there's not a performance boost, but it would, you know, two drives now look like one single one. And then the final one is just JBOD or just a bunch of disk. And this is what I want to do. Now with this, um, it's going to look like two independent drives. And that's what it is. It's going to be two four terabyte drives. Um, I have two options here to switch to JBOD or downgrade RAID 1 to JBOD. Uh, the main difference here is if I switch, it's going to wipe everything. And there'll be two drives. If I downgrade, it should maintain my four terabytes that I've copied over and give me a separate independent disk when I have two disks. Now, as a precaution, I went ahead, the data that I already had, and copied it and backed it up somewhere else. Uh, so I'd highly suggest that. Uh, so again, RAID 1 is default. Uh, your eight terabytes is going to look like four terabytes. That's all you got with a backup. RAID 0 is going to Look, those two disks are going to be combined for total of eight, spanning, combined total. And again, if you something messes up there, you have to rebuild it. It's not pretty for either of these. Uh, just a bunch of disks or two independent disks, four terabytes each. And that's what I'm going to go with. I hit next. Storage mode. So this is saying, do you want to change your storage mode from one to JVD? You need to select a primary drive. Sure, I'll go with one, drive one. Uh, any data on your second drive will be erased. So on the second drive, that would be all the backed up data. And we're going to run this, and I have no idea how long it's going to take, so I'm going to pause and come. Okay, so this is done. Uh, what you'll notice is we got RAID volume and volume 1 JBOD, almost 4 terabytes, but that's all that's here. So a little confusing, right? We come over here, we still only see 3.68 terabytes free. Uh, if we go to healthy, we'll see drive one and drive two, but we don't see it anywhere. So what I got to do is I got to go to storage and there's no volume. There's only volume one. So I'm going to change RAID mode again. Okay. I'm going to go at the JBOD and now I'm going to create a new volume. It's 
going to take some time here. Okay, you can see it's looking at drive two, four terabytes. It's running through systems. You see we're four terabytes good. I'm going to hit next. Now we got volume two, JBOD. Just keep on clicking through, finish that up. Oh, so it's going to format it. And uh, that's the big difference of downgrading. We downgrade volume one, so I didn't have to reformat. Um, but volume two, I am reformatting because there's nothing on it, as we have to do. It's going to take a while. Okay, now we can, we're can. all done. We can see we got two volumes, each about four terabytes, and it'll show the total capacity there. Remember, I already had some data stored, so that's why it's less than eight. Hope that helps.